This is Block 10, the 1960s, Section 4, In From the Shadows, with the section The Stonewall Rebellion. Uh, the Stonewall Rebellion uh, concerns uh, homosexual Americans, gay and lesbian Americans. Homosexuality was always present in American society, uh, but f for most of you know the history of the West, it was frowned upon. Um, and in, in, the, in the United States, in the post-World War II decades, homosexuality was illegal, uh, in most states, sodomy, the, you know, the act of anal sex, uh, was illegal in most states. And even the, if you were suspected of homosexual tendencies, uh, was enough to very often get you fired from most government jobs. And the reasoning was fear of blackmail. Um, however, uh, in New York's Libertine uh, Greenwich Village, uh, a more tolerant attitude ruled, and many homosexuals who had been kind of chased out of, you know, their their own communities gathered in Greenwich Village where they would be accepted and tolerated. Um, openly gay men and open, open, openly lesbian women could live their lives a little more openly. Um, in, uh, they were harassed by the police and, you know, bullied and mocked, um, as they often still are. Um, in June of 1969, uh, they got a little sick and tired of it, that a group of off-duty police officers, uh, excuse me, not that off I'm sorry, a group of police officers, they were not off-duty, raided the Stonewall Inn, which was kind of a gay club uh, bar uh, in Greenwich Village, um, and they went around looking for homosexual men to arrest. Um, that the Stonewall Inn was a bar where gay patrons were more than welcome, uh, but the cops showed up looking to arrest, you know, totally peaceable people who weren't, you know, hurting anybody. They weren't engaging in any public acts of anything. Um, the police showed up wanting to arrest them for perversion, antisocial habits, etc., all the things that uh, made homosexuality illegal. Um, however, this time the patrons of the bar fought back, as you can see uh, in the picture, and a riot or a little rebellion ensued uh, that lasted over a period of several nights, uh, and they refused to be arrested uh, for the most part. What it served to do uh, was kind of awaken the United States. Now, this is 1969, that, you know, um, feminism was on the rise, civil rights had been passed. You know, this, the, the time and the era was ripe uh, for American eyes to be open to the plight of another group of people that had been pushed to society's margins. Um, and people, you know, of you know, a tolerant mindset and a tolerant attitude started questioning whether homosexuality should be, you know, a criminal act and whether, you know, homosexual sex ought to be a criminal act. The events at Stonewall are considered to be the beginning of the move, you know, first to decriminalize homosexuality. So first, you know, that advocates for uh, homosexuality and the homosexual lifestyle said, you know, this, this lifestyle, this, you know, this fact cannot be criminal anymore. Uh, and that was, you know, largely successful. And now we are in the phase um, of making homosexuality, uh, you know, we were past the phase of making homosexuality acceptable in polite society, and now, of course, you know, we're all familiar with attempts to recognize uh, homosexual marriage and other degrees of equality for Americans who uh, are homosexual, uh, and those things began uh, at Stonewall. That's another important aspect of the 60s and 70s, of these you know, groups that had been marginalized and pushed to the side of American society, demanding uh, equal treatment and equal rights and equal opportunities, uh, regardless of, you know, their sexual orientation.